there are many types of different sets that foreigners make on tuna schools. Sometimes the tuna schools are up by themselves, and we call these free swimming schools. Uh, but most often they're aggregated with something else. Often they're aggregated uh, under floating trees, for example, floating branches, and that's called log sets. Sometimes they're aggregated with man-made objects, uh, which are called fads, some of which are anchored, others are drifting. Uh, often they're associated with whale sharks, uh, large cetaceans like whales, uh, schools of dolphins, or dead animals. Uh, so there are many, many types of different sets, uh, types of sets that are made by porcelain fisheries. If you dive anywhere in the ocean, you're not going to find a fish. It's going to be the blue ocean. If you find anything that floats and you dive there, you're going to find at least a few small fish. And if you're lucky, you're going to find many different species and many, many fish. This is the huge difference. A fat-free set is a set that would have characteristics similar to a set made on free swimming schools. But it's not always the case that the fishermen can tell 100% uh, for sure before making a set if that set is on a free swimming school. Scientists would define fad-free as uh, a set or an operation that's uh, based on knowledge of an assembly of fish not associated with a floating object, uh, with the boat itself, uh, with a living large object like a whale or a whale shark. So what we call fat-free sets would be, for example, made only during daylight hours because we know that fat sets often start uh, pre-dawn, just before sunrise. A fat-free set um, would not be made under a dead animal, for example, like a, a dead whale. A fat-free set would not be made under a log or under a partially submerged uh, floating object uh, that has been placed by man or nature. 